Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans, Droids, Seven Star Emperor Palpatine is going to be mine. Today, we're continuing pushing the boundaries of free to play in 2021. We are on our fourth week in Galaxy of Heroes, and we are aiming today to get our Emperor Palpatine to seven stars. And you guys are gonna live through the moments of me. I'm gonna show you the mods, the strategy, and how to dominate and make your roster look nice and shiny with one of your first seven star legendary characters in Galaxy of Heroes. Get back to the command station, put on your game face, and let's get this show on the road. Now, in case you have not been following this year, card at the top right hand corner to our playlist of the 2021 free to play account series that we are working on. And we are very close to getting our Emperor Palpatine to seven stars. And we're working our way to getting Thrawn to six and seven. We're going to focus on getting Palpatine today. And I want to show you the minimum gear and mods that I've been using to knock out this seven star event. So obviously you're going to need seven star Rebels for this. And no matter who you're going to ask, everyone's going to recommend using Phoenix to unlock Emperor Palpatine because it gives you Palpatine as well as Thrawn. So I've already tried doing the Emperor Palpatine event around level 60 with gear 7 phoenix and it wasn't quite enough well now we're at gear 8 for uh, hera we're at gear 7 almost at gear 8 for uh, ezra bridger we're almost at gear 8 for kane and jerez only a few more pieces away as a matter of fact gear 7 for zab and gear 7 for chopper and the reason why i'm putting this out there is because you don't want to over gear phoenix you kind of want to keep them around gear 8 gear 9 and at most maybe one or two characters at gear 10 such as ezra bridger since they don't have a lot of end game value but they are incredibly powerful for the beginning end of the game and let's talk about mods here shall we so mods are kind of a big problem because it shares the credits you're using to gear up level up abilities and star up your characters ideally i want to run three tenacity sets on here for the palpatine event i highly recommend getting as many tenacity mods as possible because there's lots of debuffs shocks stuns and of course damage over times and ability blocks and you want to try to resist as much of it as possible for for the emperor palpatine event i'm recommending tenacity sets i would love to have a tenacity arrow right here however i am so credit poor i can't get a third set of tenacity but for harry you want it to be fast you want it to be durable and i highly recommend getting a potency primary stat on the crosser so she can land her exposes on her basic ezra bridger we're going to try to put out as much damage as possible we're doing a critical chance as well as critical damage that again i do not have the complete ideal mods on this character because again we're short on credits here but highly recommend getting crit damage up here down here getting offense or tenacity for this event that we're doing and of course either offense or speed up there as well moving on Caden Jarrus, we're running as much tenacity as possible because I want him taunting and I want him cleansing himself and other people that may be getting debuffs on the field and we're trying to make him as durable as possible. Tenacity, protection, as well as health. Zeb, we're giving him as much potency as possible. We're running triple potency sets on him because we want him to daze, stagger, and stun the enemies we're using him to call to assist for. So we have some decent potency on him. He is going to be a bit low on tenacity, but hopefully with the help of Kanan not being stunned, we have ways to cleanse up Garazeb. And very, very important, make sure you have potency on this cross right here. And we have protection over there and health down here. Again, we do not have ideal five down mods because we're just starting off the mod farming in this game. And it's very rough for new free to play players. And unfortunately, Chopper is going to be our weak link. We do not have access to a lot of good mods. We're only using one and two that mods ideal. Ideally, you want to load this team up with as many five dot mods as possible with an emphasis on chopper for survivability such as health protection and tenacity where you can afford it so chopper these are not ideal mods but these are the mods we're going to be trying to roll with today all right so hopping on over to the seven star event for emperor's demise let's get this show on the road we're going to try to roll the punches here ideally when Palpatine opens up with his AoE, we want to try to resist as many stuns as possible and get many counterattacks as much as possible. So Lord Vader, strike down these fools as you wish, my master. What a little good puppy dog you are here. So here we go. Vader's going to open up here. We got a uh, little too many debuffs for my like. Let's see. Can we get a couple of counters? And that is the power of tenacity mods right there. Fantastic. We got an expose from here. That is why we want to make sure we get potency on that cross mod because we need to land as many debuffs as possible. What we're going to do is we're going to try to blitz Palpatine, get him into the yellow, and spank him 
out of oblivion here so we're gonna go do a buff the spell with chopper right here because firstly we want to get rid of the health uh, health up as well as the defense up and we also have a chance to push back some terminator didn't get any of it so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna call zeb to assist and hopefully with those potency sets we can get a stun didn't get it but you can get stunned sometimes we might have a second opportunity here why don't we go ahead get a stagger and oh we got that resistance so not a great opening so far all right what do we want to do here we're stuck behind the taunts palpatine's in the yellow which is fantastic what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give harrison doula a call to assist so we can give her some bonus turn the taunts are eventually gonna drop up by themselves and i don't want to use my big ability with ezra bridger let's see who do you want to clean up let's clean up ezra here get rid of those debuffs he is now taunting he's got high tenacity so he should be able to wave off a lot of those disgusting debuffs i'm actually gonna give back a plan to kanan just in case things get a little south we are able to bring him back all right palpatine still in the yellow let's blitz this old man down throwing out our basics every time chopper's using his basic he has a chance to reduce our cooldowns and he's feeding random buffs to our teams i'm gonna go ahead do the 360 around the world no scope to the face and palpatine 10,000 damage fantastic let's get that daze on him good there we go still not going in the green we want to make sure palpatine does not bounce back from green or yellow to green because then we got to deal with the royal guard taunts again going all in on palpatine one hit two it almost in the red cannon jared's doing amazing work back there uh all right look at that still looking good let's give some protection up over to ezzy 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 all right, Kanan still hanging on in there. Let's go all in on Palpatine. Hopefully, we can get a daze or star stun on him. Oh, come on, Zeb. Get in here. All right, give me some good counters. All right, not the best luck we had there. I was hoping to try to stop him in his track, but we're going to roll the punches still in the red, which is what's the most important thing. And the other reason why we want high tenacity is because if we're preventing Palpatine from landing debuffs, they can't heal up. And that is one of the most important reasons, aside from just trying not to get stunned here. Is this going to be enough to take out Palpatine? There we go, baby! Let's keep this rolling! Going after Darth Vader. Darth Vader is going to be our next party. We have all five of our Phoenix members still alive. I'm loving these odds, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to throw out our basics so we can try to get some random buffs in there and a chance to reduce our cooldowns. All right, Ezra Bridger and Ezra Bridger got offense up, which is fantastic. Stick with me, Kanan. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play it safe. I'm going to go ahead and give Tenacity up over to Kanan Jarrus, as well as a little bit of protection up, and we're going in on Vader. There's our expose. Unfortunately, it's not going to last long enough for us. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get rid of that defense up there. Throw down that offense down. All right. Let's get a daze. Looking good. Can we get someone to get Zeb to stun him? Hopefully in a moment. And man, there we go. Let's see. Can we get a stun? Yeah! There we go, baby! Keep it rolling! Show these fools who the real might of the empire is represented by. Keep it going. Oh, we got a little bit of a dodge there. I want to get another backup plan to feel good uh, on Kanan. So far, we're looking so freaking dang amazing. We're going to do the 360 around the world nose because this thing hits like a freaking truck on him. And plus, we're going to get 50% turn meter because, in the fact, there's no buffs on Darth Vader. It's a big hit. Oh, in the yellow. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Do I want to taunt right now? Let's get some protection up. Let's give it over to... Uh, oh, boy. Let's give it to Ezra Bridger. We want to keep him alive. All right. Tenacity down. Tenacity up is gone. That's fine. Let's get this. So here's another pro tip. You want to try to get these Royal Guards into the yellow because when they're in the green, they can stun you on the basic potentially. Throwing that out. Throwing that out. Almost there. Uh, let's see. Can we maybe... Uh, let's just do a daze here. There we go. Looking good. Oh, there we go. Tenacity mods make a world of difference for this event. Let's go ahead and throw out a uh, basic. Oh, offense up on Ezra Bridger is fantastic. We're looking good. We just got to get around these uh, red sausages. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. Uh, we have to start working on these guys. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Backup plan on Kanan. I do not want to lose him. Let's just go ahead, get a taunt up, clean up that speed down on Zeb. All right, man, look, he is not getting any debuffs on him whatsoever. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Get some more tenacity up on him, unfortunately. Uh, Darth Vader, you can't resist it. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get through this loser right now. We're going to call Hera to assist. We get bonus 30% Terminator because she is a support character. So let's go ahead and do that. That should get... Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Here's what we're going to do now. Let's go ahead. Let's try to get that daze back on Darth Vader. Looking good. Uh, let's not get him with a taunt. Throw out a random buff. There we go. Looking good. Offense down happening there. Let's keep it rolling. Let's do a big 360 around the world. No scope. 17,000 damage. Darth Vader going into the yellow. Let's see. Oh, we probably should have. We misplayed. We probably should have hit the royal sausage. And then we could have gotten the stun on Darth Vader. Oh, no sense crying over spilled milk. I think we're going to get rid of this uh, royal guard here in a moment. Unless 
You kind of work around them just like that with Chopper's buff the spell. Let's go! Almost there! Don't let him get back in the green. Do not let him get back in the three. Throwing around the buff. Who got it? Looks like Zeb got it. Keep going. Got the exposed. Can we get a stun? We got the stun! Oh! Can you feel it in the air, ladies and gentlemen? And just like that, in one month of playing Galaxy Heroes in 2021, you yourself can three-star perfect the Emperor's Demise! Flip the chair! Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans are, oh my gosh. This has been one of the biggest highlights of me in 2020. I already got this guy to seven stars years ago. But let me tell you, doing it this time and this year and this quickly puts a smile on my face. And just like that, let's go ahead, show it on the screen. And there it is. And we got just, and you know what? I probably should save these credits, but I just want to get the flex going right now ladies and gentlemen gungans and droids i present to you a seven star emperor palpatine there we go i mean that worked out so well i didn't have high gear and i didn't even have all the ideal mods possible really the biggest takeaway from today is really two things if you're really trying to get palpatine to seven stars and you're trying to go into low level low gear phoenix you want to have as many tenacity mods as possible and that's gonna wrap up our video for today ladies and gentlemen gungans and droids across the galaxy i hope this series that we've done so far this year and we're only getting started by the way has been fun and enjoyable to all you guys and more specifically i hope newer players out there trying to enjoy galaxy Heroes at its finest this series has been helpful for you and even if none of that is true i have been having so much fun reliving legendaries from a couple years ago and knocking them out in record time this year in 2021 like comment down below on all your thoughts and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing because here baby we're always pushing the envelope for galaxy of heroes and with that Always remember, it's great to be in the Empire today.